Hello guys, this is Gaurav. Uh, so today's session we are not going to talk about any technology or any technical concept. So today I will ask you one question. Uh, most most of the cases in this kind of question, interviewer might ask you an interview. So let's get started. Okay. So now you can see uh, I have created one topology. So in top in my topology, you can see there's a two switches. This is my switch one and this is my switch two. Okay, switch one is connected to user 1.1.1.1 and switch two is connected to user 1.1.1.2. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to configure this user in VLAN 10 and this user in VLAN 20. Okay, so uh, be, uh, understand these things. Okay, so what I'm going to do configure at last, I will ask you a question. So you will have to get the proper answer. This is my switch one. So I'll change my host name interface f0 slash 2 sorry f0 slash 2 switch port mode access switch port access vlan 10 okay so as you can see here i already configured vlan 10 so what i did i configure this interface f0 slash 2 in vlan 10 here okay so now this interface is belong to vlan 10 this user is belong to vlan 10 what I'm going to do here, I'm configuring the second user in VLAN 20. Okay, so, so I'm jumping on this switch. So here is my CLI. So first I will change my host name. Okay, it's not necessary. But suppose that if you are changing host name, that's good. If uh, see what happened, uh, sometimes this kind of error you will get because so, uh, suppose that if you are like writing a wrong command so you will get this error that is a domain server resolving error so you have to put no ip domain lookup okay this command so now if you do any mistakes so still you you won't get this kind of error okay anyways so interface f0 slash 2 which is connected to this user okay so i'm going to configure switch for mode access switch switch for access vlan 20 okay so I configure this user in VLAN 20 on this switch. Okay. So as you can see here is already VLAN is configured VLAN 20. VLAN 10 also configured but we don't require VLAN 10. In previous session I have configured so I am removing VLAN 10. Okay. So now you can see here I have this user is configured in VLAN 10 and this user is configured in VLAN 20. So obviously there are the two users are belong from different different VLAN. Obviously they won't they will not communicate with each other. So still we can cross verify whether they are communicating or not. Okay. See now before uh, configuration that access for configuration before this user are reachable. Okay. But now they are not going to ping to ping each other because they are belong from different VLAN. Now here you need to listen carefully. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to configure on switch one f0 slash one interface in VLAN 20, VLAN 10. Interface f0 slash one, switch for more access, switch for access VLAN 10. Okay. And on second switch, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to configure f0 slash one VLAN, one interface in VLAN 20. Switch for more access, switch for access VLAN 20. Okay. Now we have to wait for some time. Oh, okay. Now both came to the green color. Now you can see here, here is my user 1, 1.1.1.1. .1 .1 .1. Now I am trying to ping 1.1.1.2. Now they are reachable. See, this user is belong from different VLAN, this user is belong from the different VLAN. Okay. Even on this switch, I have configured VLAN 10 only and on this switch VLAN 20. Okay. So how these both users are communicating? I know this is very simple answer. You have to understand the logic. So suppose that if you know the answer, just write down in the comment. So definitely I'll give the answer after 24 hours. So just write if you know the answer. So thank you so much.